Hi guys, uh, I'm going to show that uh, Speed 40 Star Printer. So TVC recently launched TVC Speed 40 Star Printer. This is a complete passbook printer. We can print passbook or DD, FD. These those things you can print on this printer. So this is a good printer. This is easy, easy use and friendly use. Uh, complete. Uh, you can print this this uh, type of thing easily. What are the application you are using? So I'm going to show that there is a power button here, over here and the behind of the printer you can show you can show you can see that two uh, interfaces one is usb second is serial port so this is the power switch button i have already connected the printer i'm switching on the printer so this is the printer i'm switching on in this printer if you are on the power on, power on button uh, it will initialize the printer now you can see that addition getting initialized left to right you can hear the sound so Eject button is there, up arrow, down arrow, two buttons, total three buttons and one display over there. First you are switching on the printer, you can able to see that insert media on the printer. So next I'm going to show that how to install the driver. Okay. So in this printer, you can use multiple uh, emulsions, multiple size, multiple how to uh, change the uh, settings, internal settings, external settings, all those things I'm going to show that. So first I'm going to show that for how to install the driver. For that, you have to, uh, if you're on a, it, it, in this printer works on generic driver as well as original driver. For all, if you want original driver, you have to use TVC website. For that, you have to go open uh, TVC website, tvs-e.in. On that, you can see that products over here. Click on the driver on the icon. This website is, I'm repeating again, tvs-e.in, that is the website. Go there and you can see that over here. This is the um, lot of windows you can see able to see. Next, um, here it is. If you are entering the website, you can see that lot of windows. Come over here. Here it is specialty printers. Click on the icon. Okay, and uh, come over there. You can see first PD40 plus that is a passbook printer, PD40 star. Okay, if I click on no more, you can see the driver. Okay. No more. Click on that. So here it is. I came and there is a features, printer features, advantages. What is the advantage available on the printer? Specific specification, download, uh, downloads, or what is the ribbon capacity? In this printer, twenty four uh, impact dot uh, impact dot matrix printer, and it is printed as it is. 94, 94 column printer, single sheet or passbook printer, one plus five copies. That in all the specification available over here. It, is, it comes with along with the display. Okay, this IBM it will print and uh, uh, LQ220 emulation uh, will print. Okay, and <coughs> if you are open the TVC website, you can able to see all the specification over here. Next, I'm going to download the driver. Click on for that. You have to click on the downloads. Okay. Come over here, you can see the driver. If you are clicking clean on the uh, this link, it will download. You can easily now. I'm not going to download this, I have already downloaded in my computer. So, I have this driver over here. So, for that, uh, for inst installing driver, I'm, I have to uh, open the control panel. Control panel is this, and printer already on it that is doing TVC Speed 40 star over here. So, it's adding the printer. For adding the printer, click on add a printer. Okay, it's showing that that print the printer that it was not listed. So click on that that icon. Okay, again it will wait a few seconds. You have to add a driver. Now it's a it's a, it's a that uh, system is not. Okay, uh, it is came now. Again, I'm clicking add a local printer. Click on next. Again, choose I'm uh, port and by port is USB zero zero. Eight. I'm selecting and give next. Okay. Now I'm have a click on have a disk. Port browse driver location will be uh, would be in desktop. Sixty four. This is a driver. It's showing SK five three five two zero. That is driver name. You have to choose this only. Then only it will work. Okay. Now click on open and okay. It is showing that speed for T star. See. So next ne click on next. And next, next, again next, finish. Now you have to just restart your printer. Once you have to restart, again the icon will go, and again you have to restart it. Okay, 
again I'm restarting my printer it came over there okay printer is restarting you can able to see here the sound also printer is restarted now the uh, display is showing inside the media inside the media which means uh, nothing but you have to insert any paper it will accept I'm showing that I'm inserting any air force sheet okay my air force sheet over here it will be a small air force sheet I'm inserting okay it is accepted now I'm going to print this for that click on the icon see what's printing printer properties for that for your reference if you look at other ways there I'm just just show you for your reference okay print this one I'm showing that it's in process so now you can see the printer's ready condition power is enabled that you can see okay now the printer is completely printed you can see that so now i'm putting out here now come come to this uh, driver i'm going to any any uh any any excel print or notepad print okay for that i'm going to opening a notepad uh, this is a yeah, test page okay i'm printing this and click on print okay now showing the uh, data light uh, check light is blinking it is printing which means if you are getting that is printed okay there is uh, i didn't add just any uh, top margin left margin there just take it print now i am going to show which emulsion available in this printer okay so if in this emulsion if you are using original driver emulsion should be a olivetti then only it will print so i'm going to take how to check an emulsion okay for that switch off the printer before i have it keep hold on air for sheet in you to keep it with you and press and hold the eject button and switch on the printer okay Now, printer head is initializing. Okay, you can if you, in top cover close the condition, you can take a print. If you are opening, it will print. No worries. I'm just going to close this and take a print. Okay. Now I want to check what which emulsion available in this printer. If you press and hold the eject button, switch on the printer. What will show first is Mac app. will shows. Again, you have to down press it down arrow once again. Now it shows print the test. You have to press eject the button once. Now you can see the model print test. For that, again, you have to press down arrow. It is shows, shows CMOS print test. CMOS print test, which means what, which is uh, printer self test page. Okay. For that, you have again you have to press eject button once. Okay. You have to show insert media. After insert the paper, it is printing. Okay, it's printed. Print is over. The complete print has came. Okay, now the uh, all the settings available over here. The emulsion is Olivetti. It is print with Olivetti or TVC print uh, Olivetti emulsion. You can use the original driver. Okay, so I'm taking I'm changing the now I'm changing the emulsion. So I'm going to change the emulsion. Okay. For that again, I'm switching off the printer. Press and hold the eject button and switch on the printer. Multiple emulsion you can use. Uh, Olivetti, a lot of emulsion is there. Which are the emulsion you want? You can use. Okay, now it shows Macatas. For that, I'm, I'm going to change the uh, old emulsion. Now Macatas is there. I'm going to uh, press down arrow. Sorry, up, up arrow once. It is shown, showing CMOS setup. For any setup, you have to select CMOS setup. Again, you have to press eject button once. It shows TVS1, which means program one. One, one more setting is the TVS0. If you want, which are the settings you are selecting, you have to select the, that accordingly. That so TVS1 there, one is by default is there. So before you have taken the self test page, or before that, what TVS1 is there. So I'm going to change same uh, program. So I'm going to eject, uh, eject button once. It is showing print a part. Okay, again, I'm pressing eject button once again. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh. CMOS setup, I'm going to down press down arrow. 
Yeah, I'll show you the part. First one, second one is side part, third one is communication part. If you want to change the uh, emulation, you have to go for communication part. For that, you have to press the ejector button once. You, show, you can show emulation. If you want to change emulation, you have to press the ejector button once again. You can change by default, emulation will be there. If you want to change emulation, you have to press on down arrow. What, what are the emulation will be there? So, I'm changing to LQ emulation. For first one is Olivetti um, is the second one is uh, Unisys, third one is IBM LQ2550 high print program print pro printer Excel24 Olivetti. I'm going to change this uh, LQ2550. If you want, I'm going to change this. Okay, I'm for selecting you have press around eject button once it is selected. For save the settings, press on to press two button together now you can see right and update if you are selecting right it will save permanently if you are selecting update it will save temporarily i am going to save te permanently so for that i am saving adjective button once now printer head is initialized okay now we can check whether it is which emulation is there so for that i am going to back for that i am pressing two button once again Okay, print that test, more print test, second option, see more screen test. Okay, eject button button. So insert a media, which means you have to insert any media. It is printing. Now we can check which is emulation has been changed. It is in LQ2550. You can see that. LQ2550. Okay. Before it was Olivetti. Now has been changed to 2550. Okay. Now I am going to check whether it is printing or not. For that, I switch off the printer. I am switching on again. And is initializing okay print head is initialized i'm going to print okay i'm giving a print okay now light is blinking i'm giving i'm setting any paper a1 media inside media which means you have to insert it that is that uh, error is blinking it is not printing ejecting which means you have to in this emulation lq2550 you have to only you can use generic only okay if you are getting this type of error in this printer you have to change emulation then only it will perfectly work got it next one we are we have installed uh, I am switch off the printer and installing. Uh, I am going to show um, in this printer, wherever you go, it is easy to use, easy to understand what are the emulation, everything is available in the okay. Thank you so much. Have a great day.